Hello, my name is Gabriel, Product Manager at Canonica. What is a real-time system? We know that real-time is not about improved performance, but deterministic latency. And in this video, we will explain you what is real-time and how you can start developing one using Ubuntu. First, we need to understand what is latency and what is jitter. Let me show you an example. Let's say that we have a robot that is moving from point A to point B. And it takes the robot 10 seconds to complete that operation. From the moment that we call the activity to the moment that we complete the activity, we can define that as latency, the time that it takes for a process to complete its function. Now, let's say that we're running the same operation several times, showing that the robot doesn't end activity at the same time. Sometimes it's more than 10, less than 10, more than 10 seconds from our, of course, defined um, time, our defined goal. Now, this variation that you see between the real time and the time that we define is known as jitter, that variation in time. And this is important to know because the first two characteristics for a real time system is that you need to have precise time for some activities and you're looking to get low jitter, low variation. Now, as with any other operating system, the robot is running several tasks at the same time. For example, let's say that it's getting some readings from its proximity sensor, some battery notifications, an update request, navigation, so, so, and so on. All of these activities, all of these processes, they consume machine resources. And in order to orchestrate this, we have inside the kernel the schedule. The scheduler oops, is the one that is in charge of the orchestration of the processes of this machine. Now, in a real-time system, we have real-time processes that need to run with certain urgency and cannot be interrupted. So, for instance, sensor is running with a high priority, with an urgency, and it cannot be interrupted by any other activity. And that is the job of the scheduler in a real-time system. These are the main characteristics of a real-time system running activities, some of them, with a deterministic latency, that the success depends not only on whether it completes the activity, but also if it does it on the specified time. Activities that we have some urgency and cannot be interrupted by others. Now, how you enable that using Ubuntu? First, you need Ubuntu real-time kernel. Ubuntu real-time kernel applies the preempt real-time patches modifying the scheduler from its generic configuration to one that is more sensitive to latency. The second thing needed is tuning your kernel. Only enabling the real-time kernel is not enough. You need to tune it 
each layer of your workload, each layer of your operating system has to follow the regulations, the guidelines that you apply to each process in terms of latency, in terms of priority. To access the Ubuntu real-time kernel, you need a subscription to Ubuntu Pro. Ubuntu Pro is a service that provides you with several tools like security maintenance, live patch, landscape, security certificates, among others. Once you have registered, you will get a token that you will need to enable in your machine. After that, simply run pro enable real time kernel. And that's all you need. After that, you will need to tune it. This can be a challenging process. That's why Canonical's kernel team has developed different resources to help you in this journey. We look forward to see what you build with this new tool. Thank you for watching.